Intriguingly, it has an overall efficacy in our trials of 70%. But when we look into the data a bit further, in the two different dosing regimes we use, one of the dosing regimes has 90% efficacy and the other one has 62% efficacy. And the higher efficacy regime is better tolerated and also there's a hint that it may have an impact on asymptomatic infection and therefore possibly transmission of the virus. I think you can uh, see from comments Sarah's made and, and the Vice-Chancellor uh, how excited we are to have these results, uh, which means that we have a vaccine for the world because we've, we've got a vaccine which is highly effective. It prevents severe disease um, and hospitalisation. And uh, intriguingly in the results, although the, the headline is 70% um, protection, uh, we do have a subgroup who got a half dose as the first dose and then a full dose as the second dose uh, where we saw 90% protection. So we, I think these are really exciting results. And because uh, the vaccine can be uh, stored at fridge temperatures, it can be distributed around the world uh, using the normal immunization distribution system. Governments will be purchasing this vaccine and making it available to the populations of those countries. But also Gavi, the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunisation, will be supplied with vaccine and they can make vaccine available to low-income countries. The vaccine is not very expensive to manufacture and also uh, no profit will be made during the pandemic period, which also helps to keep the price of this vaccine very low. We'll be digging into the details of exactly why we get a, a better efficacy uh, with the half dose, full dose, and so far we've seen with the two full doses. It may be because that better mimics what happens in a real infection. So what we always try to do with the vaccine is fool the immune system into thinking that there's a dangerous infection there that it needs to respond to, but doing it in a very safe way. So we get the immune response and we get the immune memory, and that's there waiting and ready if the pathogen itself is then encountered. And it could be that by giving a small amount of the vaccine to start with and following up with a big amount, that's a better way of uh, kicking the immune system into action and giving us the strongest immune response and the most effective immune response. But more work to do on that. So this will be we believe the least expensive COVID vaccine available going forward. Now, we have also achieved what has been quite remarkable, which is a manufacturing scale, not in the millions or the tens of millions, but in the hundreds of millions. And today, just one of those manufacturers has 100 million doses ready to be used. And that number will grow over the coming months. And the target over the next year is 3 billion doses to be provided for the world. Start getting this vaccine rolled out from December. Obviously, there'll be much larger numbers as you go forward in January, February, and March. You've probably seen the timeline that's planned or the target timeline. I think that could be done. It's going to be an enormous effort. It's not something we've done in recent times. But uh, vaccine is available now. The UK is in a strong position in that we have access to three vaccines, all of which work very well. But, you know, this vaccine has some advantages. Firstly, you don't need a freezer to store the vaccine. You can distribute it in the conventional way for all vaccines, keeping them in a two to eight degree centigrade fridge. Secondly, some people are a little concerned that this program may have been rushed. Well, the whole development plan across the world for COVID vaccines has been hugely accelerated. And in 10 months, we've gone from barely having heard of the virus to having efficacy data. So yes, that is quick. But remember that the safety profile of a vaccine is mainly to do with what type of vaccine it is. And you can be reassured that the adenovirus platform that we use for our vaccine has been around for decades. 